Your question, the member from Toronto, Danforth. Thank you, Speaker. Speaker, my question to the Acting Premier. Municipal electricity utilities currently make payments in lieu of municipal and school taxes to the Ontario government. This money is supposed to help pay down the residual stranded debt left over from the old Ontario Hydro. Under current law, when the residual stranded debt is finally retired, these payments are supposed to go back to the municipalities. But now, now the government has decided to lay a permanent claim to these payments. Bill 144 changes the law so that this money will never flow to municipalities, even after the residual stranded debt is paid. Why is the government keeping the money that is supposed to be going back to municipalities and schools? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, so the payment in lieu of taxes that's, uh, is being released, as would any other company, be them municipally and or, uh, or, or the one uh, Hydro One. Majority of the LDCs are actually owned municipally, and those payments and move taxes continue. Uh, notwithstanding, the amount that is being received, a proportionate amount, goes to residual stranded debt and or stranded debt. And now we also have done billion dollars more going directly to OEFC debt. Mr. Speaker, ultimately, we are sourcing greater valuation from this corporation, enabling us to reinvest in infrastructure and into other programs to provide even greater returns for the people of Ontario, at the same time paying down debt. Mr. Speaker, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Speaker, back to the acting premier. The residual strand of debt is nearly or should be nearly paid off by now. But by selling Hydro One, the government is making this debt bigger and forcing businesses to keep paying $600 million a year in debt retirement charges. And now the government wants to permanently keep money that under current law is supposed to flow to municipalities and schools after the residual stranded debt is paid off. How many more cash grabs will the government sneak into law to replace the money it's giving up by selling off Hydro One? Thank you. Mr. Farnett. Well, Mr. Speaker, uh, the member opposite likes to cite the FAO, but now he doesn't want to cite the FAO, who says that as a result of this transaction, we're able to source additional funding to pay down debt. And it's undetermined and uncertain what the residual strand of debt will be going forward because it is an uncertain process. We are providing certainty. We're removing the residual, uh, we're removing the debt retirement charge from residences by the end of this year. Furthermore, we're reducing it for all businesses and commercial by the end of uh, April 1st of 2018. And Mr. Speaker, that provides certainty nine months ahead of schedule, regardless of the degree of strand of debt that will still remain. We know that that's important for residences. We know that's important for businesses. And we know it's even more important for us to reinvest those funds into new infrastructure, new assets, that's exactly what we're doing, Mr. Speaker. Hello.